We've come to recognize black holes as perpetually relentless mass consumers which eat anything that falls into its gravitational pull. Be it planets, stars, or gas among others, there aren't many things that can escape the grasp of a black hole. If it's too close, it's most definitely going to end up as cosmic food. Scientists are now witnessing a new phenomenon, one where, due to bizarre circumstances, a black hole has been ejecting out material that it ingested years before. This mind-rattling scenario is one of a kind and has never been documented previously or never really been understood. Why is it vomiting out materials that it consumed years ago? And could this mean that we never really understood black holes in the first place? It's like this black hole reconciled with itself after years of shredding and consuming a small star. This celestial giant has been lighting up the dark sky with convulsive discharges as it seemingly pukes out material from what might look like a messy cosmic junk food meal. Situated in a galaxy 665 million light years from Earth, in October 2018, a black hole 20 million times more massive than our Sun was observed devouring a star that had ventured a little too close to it. Astronomers often see these violent encounters between stars and hungry black holes. The event itself wasn't a surprise to them. These events are referred to as tidal disruption events, or TDEs, and they happen when stars get close to black holes and the huge gravitational force they feel makes tidal forces that stretch the star in one direction and squash it in the other direction, making the star look like spaghetti. This particular TDE was dubbed AT2018HYZ, and to be honest, it kind of sounds like something Elon Musk would name his next child if you ask me. Come to think of it, most cosmic entities with serial numbers would sound like Elon Musk's next child. Just saying. Anyway, when this spaghettified material falls onto the black hole, it heats up and creates a flash of light that astronomers can see from millions of light years away. Sometimes the black hole will spit some stellar material back out into space. Let's just say black holes are pretty messy eaters. Yvette Sendes, a research associate at the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian, or CFA, and lead author of a new study examining the phenomenon, said in a statement, This caught us completely by surprise. No one has ever seen anything like this before. The team thinks that the black hole is now spewing out material at half the speed of light, but they don't know why it took so long for this to begin. The results, fascinating as they are, were published this week in the Astrophysical Journal. The main goal of the study is to help scientists better understand how black holes feed, which Sendes compared to burping after a meal. To put it into perspective, TDEs usually spit out this material at about 10% the speed of light. The study's co-author, Edo Berger, an astronomy professor at Harvard University, said in the statement, this is the first time that we have witnessed such a long delay between the feeding and the outflow. Astronomers were looking for signs of TDEs over the past few years when they spotted this event. The data they collected with the very large array in New Mexico showed that this black hole had mysteriously come back to life in June 2021. These findings stimulated them to analyze AT2018HYZ further. Send as mentioned, we applied for director's discretionary time on multiple telescopes, which is when you find something so unexpected you can't wait for the normal cycle of telescope proposals to observe it. All the applications were immediately accepted. The team studied the event in various types of light and with a variety of telescopes, including the VLA, the Meerkat Radio Telescope in South Africa, and the Atacama Large Millimeter slash Submillimeter Array in Chile. They found that the most interesting observations of AT2018HYZ were in radio frequencies. Berger goes on to mention, We have been studying TDEs with radio telescopes for more than a decade, and we sometimes find they shine in radio waves as they spew out material while the star is first being consumed by the black hole. 
but in AT2018 HYZ, there was radio silence for the first three years, and now it's dramatically lit up to become one of the most radioluminous TDEs ever observed. Another co-author of the said study, Sebastian Gomez, who is a postdoctoral fellow at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, analyzed AT2018HYZ in 2018 with visible light telescopes, such as the 1.2 meter or 3.9 feet telescope at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory in Arizona. At that time, he had thought that this TDE was unimportant and wasn't of any further analytical value. Gomez revealed in the statement, we monitored AT2018HYZ in visible light for several months until it faded away and then set it out of our minds. The team is currently looking into whether the delay between consumption and discharging is specific to AT2018HYZ, or if it's a more ordinary event that astronomers might have neglected. Berger continues in the statement saying, the next step is to explore whether this actually happens more regularly and we have simply not been looking at TDEs late enough in their evolution. Black holes are some of the hardest things to find in space. A stellar black hole, the most common found black hole, is frequently thought to be the result of a huge star dying in a supernova explosion. Then, in a relatively small area, the star's material collapses into itself. How supermassive black holes like this one, millions to billions of times more massive than our sun, take shape is even more incomprehensible. Many scientists consider that these giants are the center of most galaxies. New Hubble Space Telescope observations have helped to study the theory that supermassive black holes start out in the dusty center of starburst galaxies where new stars are made quickly, but scientists are still figuring it out. Like planets or stars, black holes don't have surfaces. They have a point of no return called an event horizon. Anything that lands too close will fall in. Scientists have said for a long time that once something is swallowed, it can never get away from the hole's gravitational pull. That's what makes this event so much more interesting. It is by far one of the most bizarre phenomenons to have piqued the interest of astronomers and the space-loving community alike, and until we get to the bottom of this, there will be a lot of questions to answer. So, what do you think? What is causing this black hole to vomit out a meal that it devoured years ago? Is our knowledge of black holes completely irrelevant now? Can this be a white hole? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.